welcome back to the excursioners we're back at it this weekend we are heading to salida to go do the monarch crest trail and go check out an alpine lake today this is my mom her name's laura it's her first time camping she's 60 61 years old and uh yeah we're gonna show her what camping's all about and gonna go drive up into the mountains the spot we're going to it's uh basically nestled in the mountains like under three 14ers all around us uh, one of our friends had told us about it we're gonna go check it out we drive up an old dirt road and then we i believe kind of do a little more extreme off-roading extreme crossing and then uh there's some abandoned mines that we might go check out as well so yeah come along join us for the weekend Starting our trek to the to the mountain. This is what the road looks like. We've got this cool reservoir right here. Just deflating the tires before we head up the road now. Helps out quite a bit. We found our cabin for the night. Property of the United States. Did we make it? Did we make it yet? <laughs> Soon, kiddo. We gotta figure out how to cross the river first. The stream is so cold to do an inspection of the stream crossing. I don't really know if it's down here or up there. So, crossing. Check that out. Oh, yeah. It's not that deep, though. But boy, oh boy, is it freaking cold. Damn, it's cold water. We made it across the river and up that little steep part that was interesting how to take the right line hit the wrong line the first time and then backed up redid it we made it Mike could put some rocks in a hole so and uh up we go here we go oh my gosh i'm a little shaky guys we just went over this crazy cliff drop and kind of felt the car slide truck slide a little bit and uh that was scary so we made it we made a pass and now it's kind of it's a nice, beautiful trail out here. Mike is driving. So close, we're like half a mile from the lake, but uh, there's a down tree, and the down tree is just. Oh, I'm, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to tell this rain. Okay. Everyone, it's raining, it started raining, so it's pouring rain. It's a good thing we decided not to hike up to the lake. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's coming down pretty hard. There it is. Torrential rain, yeah, so. Yeah, we're really close to the lake, but I think we're gonna turn around and just get back to the campsite. Hopefully by then the storm has passed and we can just kind of relax. We're gonna go camping. We got, we're gonna go camping. Can we play some cards? And play some cards, maybe get the heated tent going. Yeah, fun little off road trip though.
Got back down for the mountain. Treacherous, it was dumping rain. Truck did fantastic. Actually, we saw an FJ try to go up and the FJ did not make it. So, hey, my ego got a little bigger. And it's 42 degrees and raining, so guys are doing it. We're putting the heater on, it's ready to roll. I got my little wireless switch here. We're gonna crank her on and uh, see, see what it's like. I mean, we've used it before, it works, but it's been a while. So we're gonna get it going. Up we go. <laughs> Girls, Ma going up the tent. <laughs> so because it's been a while since we used this, I'm doing a little inspection of the heaters, making sure that everything's in working order and that the air filters are working. Um, especially after that long off-road. Just making sure everything's in working order and in the right spot, right? You know, sometimes you kind of bring your truck off road, you just want to go and inspect everything. Now look, see, so the exhaust moved closer to this plastic, and sure enough, because of that, it started to melt. So I just moved it back off. Um, this will cool down, and then that plastic will burn off. I'm going to sit here until it does. I'm going to try to take a rag to it, just clean it up. The rain is gone. Dinner is cooked. The fire is lit. Yaya and Gwen are ready for dinner. Yaya. Yaya is grandma in Greek for those that do not know. And uh, we're gonna eat some dinner. It's good stuff. Very glad that the rain let up. Hey guys, check this out. My shadow will eat Micah. Oh no! Don't eat me! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! I got his coffee. He's making some breakfast. And the other girls moved over here into the sun. So it's a bit chilly. We are camping at 10,000 feet. Didn't get too bad last night though. Let's go see how they are. Oh, is in there too, dude? Everybody's in the cave. Oh, did you make a cave for Elsa? That was your first night camping. It was wonderful. Any animals or bears? Animals, no bears. <laughs> Had a lot of protection in case there was. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, beautiful out here. Sun. Oh, I didn't realize you were filming. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Slept with my favorite people. Mom did really well again. Sixty-one years old, first time camping. I mean, she's in a rooftop tent. She says she felt way more comfortable up there with us than on the ground. So she piled on in, and uh, pretty cool to wake up here. She said, you know, it's nothing more beautiful than waking up with mountains and a river right next to you. It's beautiful. Tell the camera what we're getting. Okay. Ice cream. We're getting ice cream. We're getting chocolate ice cream. You're getting ice cream with Yaya? And sprinkles. What? And whip. No. no sprinkles? Huh? Just chocolate? Okay. And a cherry on top? Yeah. Should we say bye to the campsite? Bye, campsite. Bye. Goodbye. Campsite. <laughs> Did we have fun? Yeah. Yeah, we had fun. Yaya's first ever camping trip. Yeah, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. And I had the best camping partner. Oh yeah. Right? My princess.
Greg and I just dropped off Gwen and Yaya in town in um, Salida, and we just drove to the top of Monarch Pass. Just gonna bike up here behind that, and there's a dirt road um, right there that then connects to the bike path. So I'm super stoked to take Greg on this. Can't wait to show him the awesome views. On our crest trail, here we come. The Monarch Crest Trail and uh, the rain's coming. Wind's coming. So we're turning around. I think we're like four miles in. Yep. The awesome up here. You know, it winds this entire bridge all the way up this way, past the snow and up the pass down there, and all the way around. Super fun trail. Super fun. Oh, well, we just got hailed on, guys. It was super fun. And it hurt. That was an amazing trail. That was a ton of fun. Back at the car, and uh, gonna go find Grandma and Gwen. So we made it back from mountain biking. We we're just checking out this old antique store. Gwen and Grandma are at the park, and Mike is looking for some car keys. <laughs> we lost them a few years ago, and we're, we're hoping they're here. <laughs> Over the internet, <laughs> <laughs> they might get it in a few days. At the dinner, we got back. Everyone's in the hotel room. I'm just grabbing a few things from the truck. We're gonna try to wake up early and get some more mountain biking in, just because of the rain today. We didn't really do as much as we had originally hoped. But uh, me and Mike just biked around the whole town of Salida, kind of like up and down every street. Really, really cool place. Yeah. Way bigger than I thought it was. Super cool. If anyone has the opportunity, definitely go check out Slide It. Good morning. Happy birthday to Greg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got up at 6.45 to beat this rain. We are biking S Mountain in Salida. We're going to go do the, what the recommended loop of a... It's like nine miles. Nine mile, couple loops, S Mountain trip via mountain bike project so uh, pumped to get back on the bikes before the rain and then go out for a nice breakfast to celebrate Greg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
All right, we got done breakfast and biking and we just uh, made it to the goat farm and the sun popped out. Come here for a second. Grandma, this was kissing my fingers. Look at them kissing daddy's. <laughs> Hey guys, for the weekend we just got home. It was a great one. It's a great birthday weekend for myself. And having uh, my mom out, showing her camping for the first time. We we got home. It's like downpouring again. It's been a week in rain, which is actually really good. The, there's a wildfire right up the street from us. So it looks like that got put out. And our bike's got a nice clean wash on the way home. So hey, I won't complain about that. And uh, yeah, see everyone next week. For